Hi, this is Joe Bullen, and welcome to a brand new series on VisualBasic.net. I'm excited about this series, and I hope you'll be excited as well. We're going to have fun in this. We'll do some goofy projects as well as some serious ones. And I hope to develop your skills that you'll learn not only the tools of Visual Basic, but you'll learn a little bit about the ways in which to develop your professional skills if you want to become a programmer, how to sell your program. Um, by making it a professional quality type program and most of all I want us to have the fun of creati creativity. This is a great tool and we'll learn how to use it. But first before we can really get going into learning about Visual Basic we've got to get the environment to help us create Visual Basic programs and for that we need to get our Visual Studio .net 2013 Express Edition or professional version of the software. So let's take a look at what we need. We need to get the Visual Studio 2013 for desktop and it is a free one for the Express version and we can get that a number of ways if you'll just go to your search engine to the internet you can key in Visual Studio 2013 and click on it and it should take you to the visualstudio.com site. This is the site where you'll see all the different options including for the older versions of Visual Studio Express. Also you might go directly to the Microsoft Download Center and download the product as well from there. And if you happen to be a student at a college or university and have a valid email address with the school, you may be eligible to receive a full Visual Studio Professional version of 2013, which you can get at DreamSpark.com. Once again, you need to have a valid student email address, and perhaps you'll have to have a relationship, uh, or they should say the school have a relationship with Microsoft for that. Let's take a look at some of those sites. First of all, if we go to uh, Visual Studio and drill down, we'll come to see this icon, Express 2013 Windows for Desktop. Now make certain you scroll down uh, on your screen because there are other Express versions that you can install. We're going to look at the Windows Forms type of programming, so we need to look at the Windows for Desktop version. Also, if you go directly to Microsoft Download, this would be the type of page you might be greeted with. Once again, I'm right here at the Visual Studio Express 2013 site. Take a look also at the system requirements. One of the things you'll need to have is Internet Explorer version 10 for 2013 to work properly. And if you are a student, you'll want to go directly to DreamSpark.com and log in. And there you can not only download the full version of 2013 Professional of, of Visual Studio, you might find some other software that you might like to download for free. Microsoft's really good about that. Let me take you to the um, website, and I'm at visualstudio.com at this point, and I'm going to click on the Downloads section. In the Downloads section, you'll see all about the different products they have and you want to bypass your 90 day trial unless you want to buy a, your own version but we want to get the free version for our learning purposes so we need to scroll on down and here's where we see some of the options uh, on that and we want the Windows for desktop version also they remind you that if you are a student you're eligible perhaps for a Visual Studio professional so let's click on the Visual Studio Express version and at this area, we'll see all about the uh, software they're going to download and also see the options for our download. We can download a web version uh, downloader and install it directly under a machine, or we can download the ISO image to make a DVD. Now, if you have a Windows operating system 8, 
uh, you can mount very easily the ISO image with the operating system. If you have a older version of the operating system, you'll need a utility program to mount an ISO, or you'll need to burn it to a DVD itself. Personally, I sort of like to have the ISO because I can have a DVD with me, and then if for some reason I don't have access to the internet, I do have access to the DVD I can install. So you'll need to download and install that, and if you are from a foreign country, you may want to get the uh, language pack uh, to have it so that the uh, environment that you're working in will have a language that you're comfortable with. So download and install Visual Studio 2013 and once you get it downloaded and installed one of the things you'll be greeted with is a little part during the setup of uh, the developmental environment that you're going to be in. Now there's a number to pick from but we'll pick the Visual Basic development environment. Also, personally, I like the blue theme. Uh, it makes it pretty easy to read. Uh, later on, you can even add an add-on to the Visual Studio environment to add other themes other than just the blue, dark, and light. So set your theme, and once you get that done, you're ready to get started. Well, get out there, download the product, get it installed, get your theme set, and we'll get ready to go. Until next time, get your hands dirty in the code. Thank you.